everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make a baked potato. So it's a super easy, you don't need a lot of materials for it. So first, like always, we're gonna gather our materials. I'm gonna get them in my kitchen. I'm gonna pause the video, hold up this list, and let you go grab them from yours. So what we'll need is a potato, butter, usually, so if you want it, a fork, knife, plate, paper towel, the microwave, you're gonna be using a sink, and then any toppings that you want. These are ob obviously optional, they're totally up to you. You could have cheese, onions, bacon, salt, etc. So I'm gonna start gathering these. The first thing is a potato. So my potatoes, I usually keep some fresh veggies out on my counter over here. Um, you might find them in your pantry in a bag, but I'm gonna grab my potato, okay? Next thing that I need says butter. So I'm gonna go to my fridge and grab the spreadable butter out because that makes it way easier to put on the potatoes. I have my butter. Next thing I need are a fork and a knife. I'm gonna get both of those out of my silverware drawer. My dog is trying to help me in here in the kitchen. So here I've got a knife and a fork. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to need it says is a plate and a paper towel. So I've got my plates up here. Just gonna grab a small plate. And my paper towels are over here. I'm gonna grab one off the roll. Okay. Take these back over. All right, and the last thing it says that I need is a microwave, which is obviously behind us, and the sink. And I'm not gonna add any toppings, I'm just gonna show you a basic baked potato, and then you can add the toppings that you want after it's done. So go ahead and pause this video, go find your materials, and then come back to watch how you make it. All right, hopefully you have all of your stuff. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We have all of our materials here. Sorry, our paper towel's hiding my utensils. All right, the first step says to wash the potato with water in the sink. So I am going to grab my potato and come over to my sink. So I have this vegetable scrubber um, that I'm going to use to wash it. You can always just wash it with your hand. So I'm gonna turn on some water, wet the potato and scrub it really well. This is to make sure that it's nice and clean because they do grow in the ground. So when they grow, they're obviously sitting in dirt. We don't want to eat any of that, so we're going to scrub the outside of it really good. All right, so my potato is all rinsed off. The next step says to dry your potato with a paper towel. So I'm going to grab that paper towel from over here that I got earlier, and I'm going to Dry off my potato. Okay, my potato's nice and dry. Next thing, I'm just gonna reuse this paper towel. I'm gonna put it on our plate, which is going to be needed for our cooking of our potatoes. So there's my paper towel. This next step says to poke the potato with the fork about 10 times. Be careful with this. If you need help with it, go ahead and ask because it can be kind of hard with a stiff potato, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. I've got my fork. I hold it like this and I'm just gonna count 10 times. I'm gonna stab it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, So as you saw, I spun the potato around as I was stabbing it. You don't want it to go in a lot, just a little. You can, shouldn't even be able to hold the potato on it. It doesn't need to go in very far. It just makes little holes in it so the potato can breathe. So our next step is to put the potato on the plate. So here's our potato. I'm gonna put it on my plate. Next, I'm going to put the potato that's on the plate in the microwave. So you can see my microwave from over here. I'm gonna put it in my microwave. All right, 
Now we're going to set our cook time for two minutes in our microwave. So two zero zero. Take you guys over there and I'll set the timer. So I'm going to say cook time two zero zero. I'm going to press my start button. All right, I'm going to come back when that beeper goes off to let me know that it's all done and, and we'll continue our steps from there. All right, here's my timer. My potato is finished. Once I hear my timer, I'm going to take the potato out of the microwave. You need to be really careful because it is hot. So like I told you with our other recipe, I like to tap the plate just to make sure it's not too hot to grab. It feels fine to hold on to, so I'm going to take it out. Put it down. Okay, so we took our potato out of the microwave. Our next step is to cut a line or a big X into the potato with a knife, okay? This is a really little one, so I'm just going to cut a line straight down the middle. You just need a butter knife. You probably don't need a sharp one. And be careful. You don't want to put your hand directly on it. It's probably really hot. So I might use my paper towel to try and help me hold it a little. I'm just going to cut a line right down the middle of it. And kind of wiggle it open like that. Okay, now my potato is sitting open. That last step is to add toppings that you want and enjoy your baked potato. So remember you could add cheese, bacon, salt, pepper, butter, whatever you wanted. So enjoy your baked potatoes and let me know how it went. Thanks guys.